Shri Gurbe Namaha children, welcome to our online teaching academy Ekhalaiva. Through this we have started learning about the lessons fluid. Now going to see the next topic of here is gauge pressure and absolute pressure. Actually this pressure happening in our everyday life but what happened now we did not notice that. While we are measuring a pressure in a tire or measuring our blood pressure we by using an instrument it works over with the atmospheric pressure. But actually we don't realize that. So how do we are going to, how are we going to find this gauge pressure and absolute pressure? See, I will explain you with the representation here. This is a vertical line and horizontal line. This horizontal line indicates it's a absolute vacuum. You know what is the meaning of vacuum, which means nothing present no particles is present in the place which represent it is completely zero if it is called as absolute vacuum and these vertical line represent it is a pressure with this this i'm going to draw one a common line between here this represent it is the atmospheric pressure Okay, with this we are going to find what is gauge pressure and what is absolute pressure. So, if I am taking a point over here as a A, okay, if I am going to take a mark, okay, point here over, over A here, to measure this, I have to do measure from absolute vacuum, from absolute vacuum above the atmosphere pressure, okay. This marking of reading will give us what is absolute pressure. Okay, absolute pressure means which means it is measured from absolute vacuum. Okay, absolute pressure means which is measured from absolute vacuum which is crossed above the atmosphere pressure. That value gives what is absolute pressure. Now we are going to find what is gauge pressure. Okay, gauge pressure will work okay, above the atmosphere pressure. So here we have to consider gauge pressure as zero. Atmosphere pressure as zero. From here the gauge pressure okay, will make a point B here. Okay. Here the gauge pressure, the atmospheric pressure will consider as a zero. From above here we can measure what is the gauge pressure. Okay, which means gauge pressure can measure. Okay, have you understood? See here absolute pressure can be measured from the absolute vacuum and it, it will give the value above the atmospheric pressure so the measurement the reading which it gives that represent about it is absolute pressure gauge pressure will show the value or reading okay above the atmosphere pressure you know which means gauge means it's an instrument instrument by using an instrument we can measure what is the pressure okay so that by using an instrument with the help of an instrument using a finding a measurement is called gauge pressure so gauge pressure means it is a measurement okay with the help of an instrument which measures the pressure is called gauge pressure it will give the value it is measured above the it is measured above the atmospheric pressure okay so this is how we can measure the what is absolute pressure and what is gauge pressure nothing but absolute pressure can measure from the absolute vacuum by using an instrument can measure the gauge pressure 
for higher atmospheric pressure when the pressure is higher than the atmospheric pressure it will give the value so absolute pressure no now we are going to find absolute pressure how it will know it will act when the pressure is higher than the atmospheric pressure it give the value along with the atmospheric pressure with gauge pressure i'll write now how this will work no when the pressure is higher than the atmospheric pressure it will give the value along with the absolute along with the atmospheric pressure plus gauge pressure okay absolute pressure is listen pressure when it is higher than the atmospheric pressure the value will be given by along with the atmospheric pressure and gauge pressure when it is lower okay how will be the absolute pressure no nothing but again same atmospheric pressure with the minus of gauge pressure so how will act no absolute pressure will act depends on the pressure higher than the atmospheric pressure or lower than the atmospheric pressure due to that this absolute pressure will act okay so again absolute pressure can be measured with the help of uh, by the absolute vacuum gauge pressure can be measured with the help of an instrument okay understood do you understand clearly this we'll see you with the next topic now now going to continue to see the next topic is pascal's law actually the pascal principle is named after the scientist blaise pascal he is a french mathematician and physicist so he said he made the uh, statement about the pressure according to them is when an external force is applied on an in, in incompressible liquid incompressible you mean compressible means cannot compress the liquid incompressible liquid okay when an external force is applied on incompressible liquid what will happen actually we know liquid will exert a pressure in all the direction no so along with that okay when we give a extra a extra external force what will happen no okay this incompressible liquid what will happen no each will transmit transmit the pressure equally in all the direction this is a statement the pascal law has made okay when an external force is applied on an incompressible liquid it will that pressure no it will transmit the pressure equally in all the directions to understand this better just take a glass vessel and make a hole over this fill the glass vessel completely with the water okay take a glass vessel and uh, there will be a hole in all the sides and filled with the water when you give a pressure by pushing it with the help of the piston what will happen no when you give a pressure internally that pressure will exit to all the sides okay so that what will happen to the water the water will comes out rush out rushes out of the vessel equally in all the directions so this is the statement was given by the um, scientist pascal so this he made a statement about pressure is when an external pressure is applied on an incompressible liquid that pressure is equally transmitting to all the directions which means 
that what is saying the pressure is equally transmitting when we are adding a external pressure to that this is about pascal law okay we'll see you on next video children thank you to receive our online lessons please press the subscribe button and you will receive the latest updates thank you